Hey there, it's Carol Whitaker and Apollo. Apollo just had a bath, it's a spa day. And I am constantly asked, um, I get emails from all around the world, how to take care of Frisian's hair. And as you can see, Apollo has hair. So let's see how long it is. And I'll tell you what I do. You feel like I'm washing it. It goes down to there. So it, as you can see, with his head down, it's past his hands hook. But with his head up, that's what he does when he's bored. Yeah, babies. His head up, it goes to his foot. So, anyway, what you want to do with Cretan's hair is, number one, you don't want to wash it often. You don't want it to get it sprayed often because it breaks off hair, it pulls out hair. And with his hair being so thick and long, it's very heavy. So it pulls out very easily now because it is so long. And in fact, I was going to show you, as I pull on it, see hairs will come out. And that's because it's just so heavy. And we don't brush it very often. So, we never actually brush it, actually. <laughs> but we don't pick it out and comb through it. So what you want to do whenever you do a Frisian, especially if you have a stallion, stallion's hair grows like crazy. A lot of some gallings have the hair gene, some mares have the hair gene. Some mares have longer hair than even stallions do. But what you want to do is, when you take out the braids, you cut it in braids and we wrap it with set wrap. Then before you do anything to it, it's trying to get through it, you want to use a product that I absolutely love. There's two products. And I've used so many products, I can't even tell you. But these are the two I swear by. This is Not No More. I love it. And then this one is the Natural Healthy, who makes it, and it's hair moisturizer. And it contains lanolin, and it's very, very soft on the coat and keeps it shiny. I know, you're so bored. He, he doesn't like his hair done, as you can tell. And we've been here for over an hour. So these two you put in first. I put them in the braids after I take down his, his braids. Out of, my, out of the gut wrap, then I put these two products on it, and then I really go through the hair before I undo the braids. And once I undo the braids, I lather this on again. Oh, what do you see? What is it? What is it, babies? I lather it on like crazy again. Next, what we do, and the hair, this is a concentrate also. I put it in a water bottle, and we spray it on this way. Next, I use Pantene Beautiful Length, and I personally have one to also. And I have used this forever. And now I use Sebastian, but that's dredge. But for Apollo, this works great. It works really, really well. It gets, you're able to get through it well. And after you're done washing it, I put the conditioner on, I do his tail, and I let it sit there for a while. And then after I rinse it out, then I reapply. So I do this shampoo first, and then the conditioner. And if your horse's hair is really long and really dirty, you can wash it twice, and that will really help the braiding process. After that, I go back to Old Faithful, the pink conditioner, and I just spray it on that like this. And I go underneath, you want to go underneath as well because when it's this thick and this dense, as you can tell, it gets these little ringlets, as you can see. And the ringlets are really hard to get through. I never, ever, ever brush his hair, ever. I just go through it with my fingers, and if I want to get the top part trying to get smoother, just because the hair is so long. If the hair wasn't so long, I would brush it, but it's too long. Then I will use a soft brush, a soft brush brush, just to go at the top, so I can get a braid going. And I hold the hair very gently, and I just brush it softly. I know, you're so bored. You're so bored. So that is the process of doing, and let me show you really quick, so I hold it like this, and just go slowly, when I, I want to go over it like that. Slow, slow, slow. So that's the process of doing a Frisian's mane that goes on forever. And also, when you're done, you want to braid it back up and wrap it with that wrap. And we'll show you the finished product when we're done. But it's, as you can see, I have quite the task ahead of me, so I won't bore you with all the details. Anyway, that's how you take care of a Frisian's mane. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya. Okay, hey, I'm back. I just want to show you really quickly the little end result of the French braid. So I took his mega hair, sprayed it with this paint spray conditioner I showed you earlier in the bottle the natural hair. And as I do, I just go like this. Spray it as I go, so I can get through this incredibly long mane. So once it's like this, I take it, and I just wrap it. I don't use any rubber bands. I just not really need them. And I take it and put it up through here. Let me see what you can the that wrap, please, honey. And you wrap it up inside itself, so it's nice and tight. And you wrap it around, just like this. Thank you, sweetheart. And then I need a scissors too, please, honey. Thank you. And then you spray the end really quickly, so it's nice and conditioned. Thanks, honey. Just a moment. I don't need it right this moment. And you wrap it, 
And then I take a cloth covered rubber band and I hold it up like this. And see how nice and tight and pretty that is? And then we take the vet wrap and we wrap it up. So I have a show on Saturday and otherwise I would not do it in a French braid. I would do it in individual braids and wrap it. But since we have a show, I want it quickly and easily attainable. And this is the fastest way to do it. And once it's done, this is a finished product. And another thing with Frisian, so let's see the scissors looking. Another thing with Frisian stallions is you want to change your braid on either side of the crest to help protect the crest because that crest gets so heavy and it's so big. But there you go, that's the finished product. Have fun doing your horse's hair and thanks for watching.